our first course for the evening. Here we have a dagger scallop in the style of carpaccio. We have a coconut cream, some extra virgin olive oil, some pea tendrils, some tomato compressé, and then also a calamansi jelly that's on there. We've also garnished this with just a little bit of the shio salt, so feel free to add a little bit more to your taste. We added the shio salt because it has a little bit of a bittersweet kind of a taste, and it really brings out the sweetness of the diver scallops. Enjoy. So next for your second course, we have a soft poached, free range enze. Uh, we have again seasoned just a little bit of the egg with the mineral salt, however it is light, so that you may continue seasoning your life. We've chosen to use the mineral salt to accentuate the earthiness of the asparagus and to bring out some more of the yolk flavor specifically there on the egg. And then just a little bit of salad to clean your palate, a very, very thin crostini, and there is some um, asparagus and also an asparagus bouilli to top it all up with a Bernays Mussolini. So next we have a seared margarita canard. Then we have some, it's actually what they call the bleep maize. So it's corn grits. The sauce is a uh, bourbon reduction. We have citrus that we have poached and bourbon, simple syrup and vinegar. The crispy portion there is a duck leg that we confit and then we refried it. So very reminiscent of the Joe uh -huh. We have seasoned the crispy duck portion with the confectioner's salt and some warm spice that we can dust it across the top. And also we finished off with some calamansi flowers. I recommend trying to get a little bit of flour in each bite. It's really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you. So next, your fish course, we have salmon meat wing, which roughly translates to partially cooked, I guess you would say, some fried redfish bones, an aioli underneath, but the aioli is made with a preserved lemons, which we use the mineral salt for uh, to preserve, and it also has some roasted garlic, some scorched onion with some sauce gerge, candied salmon skin, uh, salmon skin, simple pomps nature, and um, the clam saffron lotion. And to garnish, we use the fleur de sel. There's a lot of chefs here, I'm sure you all know. Those that don't know, fleur de sel and fish is, go pretty much hand in hand, especially with a fish that has a gentle cooking to give it some texture, to give it some crunch. Thank you. So, our final course from me this evening, we have some Angus beef rib, caramelized celery, there is a root beer sauce underneath the beef and a potato vanilla broth. A little bit of bone marrow up in the corner that's been seasoned with the salt flake because, I mean, come on, who doesn't like fried bone marrow and some salt, you know? <laughs> the beef is unseasoned except for pepper so that you may play with it. I found that beef goes good with almost all of them. It goes good with all of them. So please feel free, have a good time. Thank you. All right, the beef. So, after the, uh, last week we have a gourmet salt challenge for the students, also for the students. And the one who come out the winner is uh, Adrian. He, he created a salted pressed macaroon with smoked salt goes in the leche. So, it was decided just uh, two days ago. So now uh, we prepared this masterpiece. So, it is a salted pressed macaron with smoked salt in dogs in the leche and then on top of that is flour de sel and we dust the macaron with confectioner salt and then it was served with caramel uh, spiral <coughs> with sel glaze and then we will serve this one with vanilla ice cream puffs dusted with smoked salt. Okay, so, Prepare for your dessert. Yeah.